Hey guys, obviously from the thumbnail and the video title, I got myself a Taurus G2C. You know, these guns are definitely for somebody who is on a budget, but that does not mean that they are cheaply made guns. Um, I know old uh, Channel Cat Chaser from the Ammo Mafia, he used to always brag about his G2C, how it would eat basically anything that he fed into it, didn't matter if it was steel case, aluminum, brass, anything. He always spoke really high of it. I've seen really good reviews on them, so I just thought I'd pick one up as well. So let's do a quick unboxing. We'll go over some of the specs and some of the features and stuff like that of the gun. So it comes in a cardboard box. Um, looks like we got a manual here, some warranty stuff. NRA stuff, some kind of Viridian laser. We got pistol itself, gun lock. There is a magazine in the pistol and one extra magazine. And these come with 12 round magazines. Um, they do have just a couple of windows on there so you can see when you're at six rounds and then when you're full at 12. Um, these are a metal magazine so back in 2009 I bought one of the Taurus uh, the Millennium the PT 111 Pros and I actually hated it um, it was bulky chunky I didn't think it shot very well um, I actually only kept the gun for a few months and then I ended up selling it and this was my receipt from back then and basically I paid 362 and I actually, I don't think I bought another Taurus until last year when I bought that TX-22. So I went from 2009 to 2021 without buying a Taurus. But everyone acts like Taurus really started stepping up their game a few years ago when they first introduced this G2C. And I'll say that that TX-22 that I have, um, I probably only have a couple hundred rounds through mine. Uh, but I have some friends who have several thousand rounds through theirs without a single issue. So I picked this up through Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo out of Tennessee. Their price on them is $181 and they have free shipping on them. Um, the website description basically shows this and it says no lock. And that's the only picture that they show of it. And... I had no idea like and I still don't what that no lock means so if any of you know put it down in the comment section because they only make them I'm pretty sure with the manual safety and then federal law says they have to include a lock with it so I have no idea what that means uh, they're out of stock right now but that's what I paid was 181.77 for it and they also include I didn't know I was getting this but one of their pistol cases um, you know, these are probably only like, you know, eight or ten dollars, but I mean, it's still pretty nice that they include it with it. So, so this is obviously a, a nine millimeter striker fire. It is single action, but it does have double strike or re-strike capabilities. So basically, if you were to squeeze the trigger and let's just say you have a weak primer or something happens in that bullet does not eject out you can basically squeeze this again and again and again you know if you needed to like i said earlier magazines hold 12 rounds plus you have one in the chamber so 13 rounds um, it's a very small gun i mean basically the size of your hand um, but with 13 rounds that's plenty for even for home defense you know if you wanted to use it for something like that uh, the barrel on it is 3.2 inches the overall length is 6.2. Uh, height with the magazine is at five inches. The width is 1.2 as very widest, which is where your controls basically are gonna be there is 1.2 inches. Uh, trigger pull is just over five pounds, five and a half pounds. Um, I've seen you know different people test different ways, but somewhere around five and a half pounds. Uh, it weighs just over 21 ounces. The sights on it are three dot white sights. Uh, the rear sight is adjustable. 
um, for windage and elevation. I believe the back screw is the elevation and the front screw is windage. The slide on it is some type of alloy steel. Frame and grip is some type of polymer. The barrel is a, a stainless steel. It does have a couple safeties. There's a manual safety right there. And even though it's kind of loud, it's actually really easy to activate and deactivate. I've had some of them that were brand new, like my shield. I bet I had to work that thing 500 times before I could like easily move it. Um, it does have a trigger safety. And this is actually one of the reasons why I chose the G2C over the G3C. The G3C, the trigger is actually a little bit wider and the trigger safety sticks out a little bit more. And when you're shooting, like all you feel is the safety. You can't really feel the trigger, but this one, like it depresses basically all the way in against the rest of the trigger. Again, one of my buddies has the G3C and it was actually kind of uncomfortable to shoot up on the top of the slide. It's got a loaded chamber indicator. So once you put a round in here, this will pop up to let you know it's there. Uh, what else? It does have a rail, an accessory rail up here. So you can't put a small light, small laser, whatever on it. I mentioned the polymer grip earlier and it does have like this somewhat aggressive grips on this. Um, it's almost like skateboard tape. And if I'm being honest, it's a little bit too aggressive for my liking, um, especially if I'm going to have this in a hole strip against my skin. So I'm planning on taking just a little bit of emery cloth and just kind of lightly buffing this down just to take some of that aggressiveness off. I mean, you want it to be somewhat aggressive because that way it stays in your hand pretty well. Um, but it's just a little bit too aggressive for what I like. Another thing on the frame here is that it has these areas that they're basically calling like memory pads um, so that you can basically keep your thumbs and index finger see there's one there too um, so that you would go to the same spots like each time that spot right there's a little bit i would probably go up a little bit higher honestly for me um, to, to come down there just feels a little bit weird um, but that feels good for my left one right there um, and personally, before I take any pistol to the range, I always break it down a, a brand new one just to get out like all the factory grease because they do the, they put a lot in there to prevent rusting and stuff like that. Um, so this here is a lot like the Glocks where you have to basically pull this back a little bit. Like that's gritty. That's real gritty right now. And then you have to pull this down. And then I know you got to squeeze the trigger and then it's supposed to slide off. It does, but man, that is tight. So yeah, I'm really gonna have to get this cleaned up and uh, lube up the slide and everything, get, get these points here lubed up good. And then to finish breaking it down, you just remove your guide rod and your barrel. So, and that's it. And we'll get everything cleaned up here. This is my uh, P365 with the 12 round magazine in it. And I tell you what, that's not much of a difference here. It is a little bit longer on the slide. Uh, let me get that a little bit closer back here. So, I mean, it is a little bit thicker grip on uh, the Taurus. It has a little bit longer slide, a little bit taller on the height, but really not a whole lot of difference overall. I mean, I'd say that's maybe a half inch. So I talked about that five and a half pound trigger pull earlier, but didn't show it. So let's see what that's like. So that is kind of gritty and there's, there's almost a little bit of a, I don't want to say a catch, but I can feel something right there. So again, it probably takes two or 300 rounds for most uh, pistols to kind of get broken in. So kind of long take up and then right there's the wall. So not bad. See what the reset is. Very short reset. So yeah, that's, that's really nice. So I'm sure that, and then here's that double strike that I was talking about earlier. So you can just continue to, to fire that if you would need to. But I'm sure once this gets some rounds enough that that little catch or whatever, you can almost hear it right there. Hear that?
but yeah I'll probably get to the range here soon and get a couple hundred rounds through this Taurus and make sure everything's running okay with it but like I mentioned earlier I think if somebody's looking for like their first gun maybe it's going to be their carry and their home defense gun I think this would probably be a good choice especially if you're on a budget I think this is a good choice like if you just want to leave it in your car or truck or whatever you know it's really hard to beat that $181 price on it so all right guys I know this was a quick video I just want to introduce you to the new G2C that I just picked up so if you have any questions please leave them down in the um, comment section I'll try to get to them but that's gonna be it on this one thanks for watching I appreciate it